out to the JBL Eon 612s. I said I'd do a review of these ages ago and I never ever got around to it, but finally, after like a month or so, I'm finally getting around to reviewing these speakers right here. I'm just gonna start it off with something which I'd consider as a negative, but realistically, it's not a big deal because you set them up once and normally leave them. And uh, that is the boot up time. So down here, this switch right here, sorry about hitting the microphone, turns them on, just clicked it then as you'll be able to hear. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna wait for them to turn on. When they turn on, there should be some music playing. Actually, let me just turn my slider up a little. It takes that long for them to turn on fully. The tweeters come on slightly earlier, and then once the tweeters are on, the whoopers turn on. So realistically, they take about 15 or 20 seconds to actually turn on. But besides that, let's uh, talk about some of the other parts of the speaker. Let's have a look at the back to start this off. We've got the Bluetooth feature, which I might have to make a separate video on again. I forget how you turn that off so it stops flashing. I think you hold the boot one down. Nah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm just gonna turn this down, sorry. Somewhere around there should do. It's a fairly directional mic anyway. So anyway, on the back you've got your Bluetooth thing and the Bluetooth, it's a little glitchy, it's a little hard to use, but I sort of find, I actually used it to start with and then just didn't use it. Uh, then here we have obviously a power LED to let you know if the speaker's on. Uh, the front LED on the front, so you can see this one over here has a white light, and I've just turned this one over here off, but you can hear the speaker is still playing music. So, that's a cool feature. You can turn them off if you have them like really discreetly hidden at the front of a stage and you don't want people to see they're there or whatever. Then uh, you've got your EQ presets. Now, if you saw my first video, you saw me pressing these and they weren't changing, even though they're changing right now. The thing with these is you have to double click to change and then you can just change quickly. I don't know if you can actually see if they're lit up, but uh, you have to double click. You can't, oh wait, oh wait, never mind. It seems to work now. <laughs> I had the issue where I was pressing it once and it wasn't changing, maybe because I have EQ Plus off or whatever. But uh, anyway, EQ Plus is off. That's basically just the EQ set by your device. So if you have that on, that's the one you gotta double tap or hold. I forget, I, I haven't actually touched these speakers in a while. There you go, so that's got EQ Plus on. I don't know if this is the one, no, this is the one that's not set up with a microphone. So this one is set up for music, but I'm gonna turn it off because I'm gonna leave these in main mode uh, with no EQ on them because I'm gonna do a little sound demo at the end so you can hear exactly what these speakers sound like. So here we have main, so it's just full range, all the sound goes straight through. Sorry about this song has a video clip, so you're getting a lot of weird noises. If you wanna hear the song, by the way, this is the song. A bit of a random song but it's pretty good anyway so yeah that's all the sound through monitor i actually don't know what the eq on the monitor is but my god if you set it in monitor and turn the eq off i was trying to set up an eq uh, manually for these and i couldn't get them very loud until i turned the eq off set it to monitor mode and oh my god it is the loudest monitor i've ever heard in my life uh sub obviously just does a low cut so it takes out all the bass out of the sound and speech i'd say boosts the vocal frequencies uh, of course, you've got here, you've got uh, two channel inputs and uh, one through. And the thing here with these is you can adjust the signal for each channel input and the total master volume. So you can have a microphone and some music in the background so you can turn the mic up, the music in the background down and then have a master control so you have a really nice balance. So you don't need a mixer and all that sort of stuff if you're just running one speaker for all of that. Then... Uh, Anyway, you've got obviously your 230 to 120 volt switch, power button, which I'm not gonna turn off because it's gonna take another 20 seconds to turn back on. Power consumption, 250, uh, 430 max. I don't know where I got 250 from just then. But um, yeah, that's the back. Now, one thing that's awesome about these speakers is the weight. These things weigh about 14 kilograms. I don't know what that is in pounds or yeah. Um, and one thing that's really important I find with uh, Pro Audio speakers is the weight because I have the AVEs as you guys might know and uh, I bought them, they were loud, they sounded absolutely amazing but my god, they're the size of the Beamer speakers that are back here as you can see and they weigh like 30 kilos a piece and yes it's really good performance but I can't tell you one time I just haven't picked up the JBLs and taken them instead because with the uh, AVEs I either pull them in with a trolley or I have to carry one at a time and it's a 
hard work having to move such big speakers. It's not so much the weight that's difficult, it's the size because they're a bit awkward. But uh, with these JBLs, I've loaded in with one in each hand. You walk in with one in each hand and one sub. Perfect for um, doing little gigs and stuff like that. But um, as far as sound quality goes, they are very, very loud speakers and they sound really, really good. I had no issues with them. The build quality isn't as good, I'd say, as the Behringer speaker I have. I forget what that is. It's the, the quote unquote 1500 watt ones, but they're not, we all know that. But um, that would probably be because they weigh about 10 kilos less than them and obviously the plastic's thicker and that's where the weight comes, uh, where you get the much lighter weight through these. But besides that, they've actually got a pretty solid bass response uh, compared to most PA uh, front of house speakers. I'm just gonna uh, try and get this song back up. Now I've gotta make sure I don't show the front of it because there's uh, something that I'm actually surprised is actually able to get on a YouTube clip. So if you wanna watch the start of the intro for that song, feel free, uh, but I'm not gonna display it on my video. But anyway, they're good sounding speakers, they get loud, I've, they've been reliable, I haven't had a single issue using them. They're lightweight, you can carry them around, and realistically, for the price you pay for them, could you get better? I'm sure you can probably get better somewhere if you bought one that isn't a brand name, a really well-known brand name, I should say, because obviously you pay a little bit more for brand names because you, you, you just do. It's like you pay a lot for Apple than you would pay for a company much smaller like OnePlus or something like that. But um, I think the EV ZLX is a pretty solid as well. But anyway, I'm going to do a little sound demo at the end here because these speakers do actually sound good. I'll show you just quickly. They're running on channel one of this top EQ here, so you can just see what the EQ looks like. There's a little bass boost there, just so I can get a little bit of low end pushing out of them, just so you guys can hear what they sound like uh, as far as low end goes, because they've got really solid bass. I I'd be honest, these probably have not as loud and not as punchy, but a, a, a more realistic, better sounding low end than the AVEs do. It's, it's actually pretty impressive. So I, I actually love to know what the 15 inch versions of these are like. I actually reckon they'd be crazy good. But um, anyway, highly recommend these speakers. They've been great speakers so far. If you're looking at picking a pair up, I would highly suggest it because there are videos on YouTube of people throwing them around. They're durable, they're loud, they're really lightweight, they're really small and compact. You can buy covers for them that are genuine JBL covers that fit them perfectly. And uh, yeah, I, I really recommend them. They're really good speakers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to set up another tripod at the back of the room here. Uh, other than the tripod I'm currently holding you guys on. And uh, set my microphone up there and just do some like walking around and whatever. Because I'll do a little sound demo. Obviously, it's going to sound different for you guys because you're going to have... What do you call? They're going to be playing out of your speakers. But you get a rough, rough idea of what they actually do sound like. So anyway, let's go on to that. Yeah. Like the attention girl, I know you, know you. But you're everything I want in life yeah. We're fighting danger like Kung Fu The love I feel is deep inside The others don't matter It's honestly us against the world With a perfect team my dream Okay, so hopefully that's giving you a rough idea of what these speakers sound like because believe me, it's pretty impressive and I'm sure you'll be able to tell that now. Uh, I'll just make the disclaimer that there is definitely no subs playing. As you can see, those Sir and Vega amps down there are definitely off, so those 18s aren't on. The Beamers are not playing. The AVE subs have nothing plugged into the back of them. You'd be able to see the blue lights on the walls anyway if they were on. Uh, there's definitely just them playing because the bass response is really actually that impressive. Uh, that song was... Let me just move my mouse. There's the song if you want to go check it out. I actually really like it. It's my second time ever hearing it. Um, well, actually no, first time. Second time I played it through. Um, but anyway, technical specs. I don't know the horn size. 
It's a 12-inch woofer. I think they're rated like four or 500 watts RMS or something. Really, I don't know enough of the technical specs off the top of my head, but that's irrelevant because my style of review is just to tell you my personal experience and my personal thoughts on them. And uh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not. Uh, realistically, it doesn't matter if it's got a 15-inch or a 10-inch. The bass response is crazy good, and they get super loud. That should be completely irrelevant of driver size. But anyway. That's been the JBL Eon 612s. These speakers are absolutely crazy. Also, I forgot to mention the signal lights are here. You can see it's flashing. If I bring you in a bit closer here, you can see the signal lights flashing to the music. Uh, it does that for both channels. And also, you've got to press these in if you want microphones. Otherwise, the sensitivity won't be super great until you press that button in, and then the sensitivity will be really, really strong. Uh, they send quite a hot signal out to a desk if you have a monitor or if you have a mic plugged straight in and then the output going to a desk, which is how I've done it in uh, the band I do sound engineering for, uh, or do sound for. And um, I found that these have a really, really powerful um, output. It's a really hot signal compared to the other Behringer speakers we have that we're using as um, monitors. But um, yeah, obviously signal lights for each channel, flash green, uh, obviously, sorry about hitting the tripod then. Obviously, the louder it gets, the brighter they flash, and uh, the limit light is orange. Uh, so that was <laughs> red in the first video I did on these, but it is indeed orange. But um, anyway, that's been the JBL Eons. I might just do a little test here. Just do that one more time. See if I can get the peak lights to come on here. Uh, I know it's going to be crazy loud, but I'm sure I'll be able to achieve it. Nope. These things are loud. There we go. Hopefully that was clipping the microphone just to prove how insane the bass on these are. But anyway, that's been my extremely unprofessional random video. I feel really out of the video mood at the moment, so if it's been a really terrible video, let me know in the comments because I really... I'll make sure I'm in a better mood. Oh, it's not that I'm in a bad mood, it's just that I just didn't really feel like making a video, but I did anyway because I haven't uploaded in forever. So, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.